Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am in baby girl's nursery today. It's not complete yet. I am getting there. But I thought I'd just sit in here as all the stuff I'm going to be talking about is currently in her room. So today's video I'm going to be talking about my feeding plans for baby number two and my favourite products, what I use for Isla, what I'm going to be using again this time. Now I'm just going to do a quick little recap on what I did with feeding my first daughter Isla. Now I had this vision that I was going to exclusively breastfeed her, may do a little bit of pumping on the side but I wasn't going to formula feed. So I didn't even buy formula to take to the hospital with me and then I ended up having a c-section, being very very ill, being in there for a week and my body didn't produce any milk until like day eight so I had to add in formula at that point so we ended up doing combi feeding so we did breast pumping and we did formula as well and it and ended up working really really well for us Ida was such a good feeder she latched really well she would take the boobs she would take the bottle she would take milk any way it comes if it was warm room temperature cold she, as long as she was getting fed she was absolutely fine so it worked really well for us I didn't have any problems with her like getting nipple confusion or anything she was like as long as you're giving me milk mum I do not care so I am going to try that again this time round but I'm just not going to put the pressures on myself like to say that you know because it may not work for us this baby may not take the nipple very well and then you know it might be a quite hard struggle to breastfeed or that you know the the pumping situation stressed me out. I didn't pump for too long because just adding that into the mix was like quite stressful. But I will do it in the beginning. So I'm going to try and do the same thing again this time around and combi feed. I'm just not going to put the pressures on myself to say that is going to be my absolute journey. And that's what I expect because I know for well this baby is going to be completely different to Isla. Or, well, I don't know she's going to be completely different, but she could be. So she may not be able to latch very well. So breastfeeding might be quite hard for us. Or she may hate the bottle, so, you know, formula feeding or, you know, pumping in that way is just not going to work for us. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself to say that is exactly what I'm doing. I've just got, I've got everything prepared for whatever way it goes. So I'm going to show you now the stuff I've got. And pretty much all this stuff is what I use for Isla as well. I've just re-bought a lot of stuff just so it's fresh. Um, some of this is being, uh, stuff is being reused from last time as well. So I will link all the products down below of what I'm using um so I think I'm going to start off with formula feeding I'm starting off with formula feeding because this is the stuff that's out at the moment so first of all is a Tommy Tippy prep machine now this is what I use with Isla absolutely love this I think it's such a good invention and it's so handy and it just makes life so much easier now I know some people don't recommend these or don't like them we never had a problem using them with Isla and I couldn't be without it because it's just so convenient and that's what you need as a mother you need convenience to get those bottles ready so I just found these as well these are for the Tommy Tip prep machine uh, these are just the filters I bought so talking about bottles we've got our faves again we've got the man bottles I bought all new ones so I've got a few of the smaller ones just because with Isla I predominantly breastfed her in the beginning so I wasn't using bottles that much so I've only got two of the little ones um, so far because it's probably going to be like just one bottle a day I might be adding in the formula or pumped milk in the beginning and then when she gets bigger I kind of like decreased my breastfeeding and upped my formula feeding so I've got a couple of packs of the bigger bottles so if it all goes to plan and it's the same as Isla then um, that's what I do so I've got and you know you, you grow out the smaller ones a lot quicker so i only got two of the smaller and i've got five of the bigger ones and these are really cute designs so these are like a dusty pink and they've got an owl on them um obviously by the time i had finished using her man bottles they were just you know well used so i wanted to get all fresh ones for baby girl so for bottle cleaning i've gone for the milton cold water sterilizer i just found it so handy just to throw the bottles in every day put a tablet in all the liquid and just let bottles soak and dummies and anything else really that you need to sterilize you can just throw it in here i know some people prefer the electric ones but i just think for the price of it and you know what it does the milton is fantastic and i have got like a load of like milton cleaning bits so in here i've got the tablets just put one of them a day in 
I've also got um, this is bottle liquid remover so this is meant to remove all that like milk residual off bottles so that's really good and then I've actually got the liquid as well so you can either use the tablets or the liquid but yeah I absolutely love this stuff it's so good for sterilizing and cleaning baby products so next up is formula now we use the Kendall Mill organic with Isla and I'll be using that again I just haven't run out and got a tin yet I don't feel like I need to at the moment so I haven't got one to show you but that's what we will be using but what I have got is their ready-made bottles now they didn't do these when Isla was a baby so I'm quite excited for this they, they don't do it on in the organic range but they do it in their like normal range so I've got a few bottles of these I just found these are really helpful just to take out in your changing bag if you're out and about as I said Isla was really good we could just put one of these in a bottle at room temperature and she wouldn't care she would take it so we didn't have to worry about heating them up or anything like that and then I've got a couple of boxes of the littler bottles now one of these are ready ready to go in my hospital bag i'll be taking them with me these are like i think they're just tiny pre-made ones and they're really good just to use and go so yeah i've got a couple of those boxes as well so i don't know if these are technically feeding items but they're in my basket so i'll show you so i've got the info cold drops and i've got gripe water so you can't use this until they're a month old but you can use this from birth and this just helps with their digestion of like breaking down the milk and stuff like that so i just got a couple of these ready to go so they'll just go downstairs in case she gets a bit colicky you know a bit windy i can just give her them and then also i was gifted a couple of bottles to try so i'm really excited so this is the nano bb and it's a, like a really small silicone one from like zero plus so i'm excited to use that and then bib sent me this really gorgeous glass bottle as well that's absolutely gorgeous so i'm looking forward to trying that as well hopefully i won't have an issue with the teats so next up i'm going to be talking about pumping now my first item is my lv wireless pump absolutely love this with isla i think I may buy another one just so I've got two because the only thing I found is that it was just when I was having to pump it was just quite awkward to like do one boob and then like empty that and then change it over and do the other boob so I think I may get a second one so I can do them both at the same time but I love the convenience of being able to just stick this in my bra not have this big bulky machine that's pumping me and I can just go about doing what I need to do if I needed to pump so I am very much in love with the LV and as I said I'm 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 going to see I'm going to wait until baby's here and then see if I want to get another one but yeah I absolutely love my wireless pump so next up I got a double pump off of Amazon and this is quite a cheap one now I didn't realize at the time that a I'm missing the lead for this and b it sounds broken so again I think I may need to invest in a double pump but if I get the LV again then i may just bypass getting one of these i i basically got it because it was cheap it was cheap on amazon and it was just good if i just needed to do both boobs in one go rather than swapping the lv over but yeah that is if you want a cheaper alternative um for a breast pump then this one off of amazon I recommend it i think it's like 40 quid so next up is the hucker now i kind of like had a love hate relationship with this one because sometimes it would really work for me and sometimes it wouldn't the idea is, is it's just a really like suction so you just put it on um, the boob you're not feeding with so you should kind of do this when you're feeding your baby and then it just collects like it sucks out your let down on the other boob I yeah as I said love hate because sometimes it really worked for me very like, well and then other days it didn't but I'm going to give it a go again hopefully you know it anything you can collect is just great to store in the freezer so you have a little bit of a breast milk back up and then you're going to need your milk storage bags to put in the fridge or the freezer now i had a load left over from isla these ones are from aldi obviously they don't do them all the time so keep an eye out for them and then i kind of got gifted this storage container and organizer so it comes with bags but it's also a like organizer so you can just slot them in and keep everything organized so i think that's really nice so i'm going to keep that um probably i'll probably do it in the fridge i don't know i may keep it in the freezer as well and then last on the pumping is this pumping bra attachment 
So it's got little hooks here and you can hook them on to your breastfeeding bra. So just flap your breastfeeding bra down, hook that arm around the back. And then it's got like these compartments where you can, if I can find one, kind of like hook that in. And then you can just be a bit more hands free rather than having to hold the pumps there. So this is a Bravado. And yeah, I just found it really helpful just so I could just whack them in here, have it on as a bra there, and then just have be a bit more hands-free when I was using my double pump. And then let's move on to breastfeeding. So you are going to need a lot of breast pads or milk pads just when you leak and stuff like that. I've got just a load of like disposable ones as well as these reusable ones where you can just put them in your bras and then chuck them in the wash. I don't really know if these come under pumping or breastfeeding, but these are little milk catchers. Now you can put them in your bra and they just catch, you know, a little bit of milk and stuff like that that may dribble out. So if you're not really into pumping, but you know, you fancy collecting a little bit, then this is less invasive. You can just put, put them on there. Um, and they're not going to suck anything out, but they'll catch a little bit for you. And then I've got some nipple shields. Now, I didn't use these a lot. I did use them in the beginning. Um, I will pack them in my hospital bag. Just because that initial first week, your nipples will be red royal. And they do help. Again, some babies find these very beneficial and help them latch. And then some babies hate them. So it is one of those things where you just got to basically trial and error. So hopefully baby girl will like them and they will give me a little bit of relief from my like nipples when I first start breastfeeding. And then next up I have these like breastfeeding gel pad thingies. So inside they're like little gel balls and you can either put them in the freezer so they're cold or put them in the microwave so they're warm. I predominantly use them in the microwave because I found that putting these on my boobs when they're especially when they're engorged or they're really painful, just help the, you know, warm the milk and let the milk flow. Because they do say that if, you get, if you're quite engorged and you get in the shower and stuff, like a really hot shower, it helps. So I really recommend these on those days where it's just painful and, you, you know, you're engorged and you're just having a really bad day and you need a little bit of comfort. And then a product you're going to need a lot of is nipple cream or nipple balm. So just to show you, this one's the Lansano this is the balm they also do a cream i think it's um lanalish the pr actual product is called lanalish and then it's um lance knows the brand i also have my expert midwife nipple balm that's in my hospital bag so just stock up on loads of like nipple balms or nipple creams because you're going to need it i'd recommend if you're going to breastfeed to start like moisturing up your nipples before baby comes because you're going to need it because they are going to be bruised then feeding just in general whether you're bottle feeding or breastfeeding but definitely for breastfeeding you're going to want a decent feeding pillow now i have the bb hug me pillow which is absolutely fantastic so it is a, like a mini version of the big pregnancy pillow and you just put it round you you can also use the um the Pregnancy pillow is a breastfeeding pillow, but this is like a mini version one. I just found it's really good because it molds really well because it's, again, that beanbag like material. So that is our feeding pillow. I really recommend one because you get a lot of backache from um, like breastfeeding, I found, especially in the first few weeks because you still got like relaxing in your body and i pulled a few muscles and things like that when i was breastfeeding so being comfortable is definitely a must so invest in some kind of breastfeeding or feeding pillow so yeah i think that's pretty much all the products i'm going to be using or reusing for baby girl number two as i said i'm not putting any pressure on myself things might not work out i may not be able to well feed her i may not be able to breastfeed her it is what it is um i don't think apart from maybe getting a new pump um i may not um bother getting anything else but i'm just going to see how she starts feeding first before i invest in another pump so yeah now it's time to set up my feeding station in the utility room so i'll take you guys along with me and i'll just set everything up
So this is my setup for now of my feeding and cleaning station. So I need to give the prep machine a really good deep clean. I'll do that in the coming weeks. And I've got my Milton sterilizer. I'm just starting to clean all the pumping stuff. Haven't bothered doing the bottles yet because I'll leave that to nearer the time. I've got this rubber mat. It's what I normally like take the things out of there and let them drain. So I let them drain on this mat. Got my cleaning products here and then bottles and milk. We are looking to get some cupboards put in our utility room, so I need to do that so I can put like all the bottles and stuff away. But for now, this is gonna be our little feeding station in the utility room. So yeah, that's everything I'm going to be using for my feeding journey for baby number two. As I said, don't know how it's gonna go, don't know how it's gonna pan out, but I will share my feeding journey when baby's here with you guys over on my channel so if you're not subscribed already please do so please give this video a like if you found it helpful whether you're thinking of bottle feeding breastfeeding pumping doing a combination of everything hopefully if you're a first time mom especially you found some of these products helpful or insightful of what to get for your baby and as i said i will link everything mentioned down below and i'll see you guys in another video goodbye